Hello and welcome to Functional Skills Maths Level 2. In this session, we'll be looking at measure, shape and space, specifically two areas, working out the probability of a combined event, including the use of diagrams and tables, including two-way tables, and expressing probabilities as fractions, decimals and percentages. Probability is a measure of how likely something is to happen. And probabilities can be described using fractions, decimals and percentages. If something is impossible, it has a probability of zero or zero percent. If something has an even chance of happening, it has a probability of 0.5 or a half or 50 percent. If something is likely, the probability of it happening is between 0.5 and 1. And the more likely it is, the closer to 1 it will be. If something's unlikely, the probability of it happening is between 0.5 and 0. And the less likely it is, the closer to 0 it will be. If something is certain, the probability of it happening is 1 or 100%. To calculate a probability, divide the number of ways that the event can happen by the total number of possible outcomes. And here's the equation. Now it's worth noting that an outcome is just one event that could happen. In this example, there are 240 boxes in a room. One of them contains a prize and Sarah takes 190 of the boxes from the room. What is the probability that the prize is still in the room? Give your answer as a percentage. Well, first of all, there are 240 boxes in the room. And if we subtract the 190 boxes that Sarah takes, that leaves us 50 boxes left in the room. The number of possible ways that the prize could still be in the room is 50. The number of possible outcomes is 240. So the probability is 50 240ths. And if we simplify that, it's 5 24ths. As a percentage, that's 50 divided by 240 times 100, which is 20.83%. If you know the probability that something will happen, you can then work out the probability that it won't happen by subtracting it from one. So the probability that an event won't happen is one minus the probability that the event will happen. If your probabilities are percentages, then all you need to do is replace the one with 100%. For example, James forgot to water his plants before he went on holiday. There is a 25% chance that they will be dead when he returns home. What's the probability that they will still be alive? Well, the answer is 100% minus 25%, which gives us 75%. If you know the probability of an event happening, you can find the probability of it happening lots of times. Just multiply the probability that you know by itself that number of times. For example, the probability of Lucy's bus being late is 0.9. Lucy takes the bus three times per week. What is the probability that Lucy's bus will be late three times? So for this answer, we need to multiply together three lots of 0.9. And if we do that, the probability of the bus being late is 0.729. You may have to use a diagram to find the information you need. For example, the numbers you require may be within a table. You may have to add up the rows, columns or the whole table. In this example, a shop sells a collection of toy cars. The table on the right shows the information about the toy cars they sell. The manager chooses a toy car at random for his window display. What is the probability that the toy car is red and under five pounds? So first of all, we need to know how many toy cars there are. So we need to add up the values. So 5 plus 3 plus 6 plus 11 is 25. 25 cars in total. Five of these cars are red and under five pounds. So the probability is 5 25ths. And if we simplify that fraction, it's 1 fifth, which is also 0.2 or 20%. When multiple things are happening, for example, two spinners are being spun, you can use a table to keep track of all the results. So in this example, the spinners are spun and the outcomes are added together. The table below shows the possible results. 
what is the probability that the result is a six? Now there are 16 possible outcomes of the two spins. Three of these are six, so the probability is three sixteenths. Let's look at an example question you might find in an exam. When high field transport gets busy, it offers overtime to a driver. There are five drivers at high field transport. The probability of being given overtime available in any given week is a quarter. The driver allocated overtime is chosen at random. What is the probability of you being allocated overtime next week? Give your answer as a fraction and a percentage. Show you're working out and write the answer in the box below. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video, have a go at answering the question, and then press play when you're ready to find out the answer. Did you get it right? So the three marks for this answer. The first mark will be given if you use the appropriate method to calculate the probability. So one fifth times one quarter. You'll get the second mark for finding the correct fraction. One fifth times a quarter is one twentieth. And then we need to convert the fraction to get the correct percentage, which is 5%. So your answer should be 1 20th and 5%. So let's recap. To calculate a probability, divide the number of ways that an event can happen by the total number of possible outcomes. If something is impossible, it has a probability of naught or naught percent. If something has an even chance of happening, it has a probability of 0.5 or half or 50%. If something is likely, the probability of it happening is between 0.5 and 1, and the more likely it is, the closer to 1 it will be. If something is unlikely, the probability of it happening is between 0.5 and 0. The less likely it is, the closer to 0 it will be. If something is certain, the probability of it happening is 1 or 100%. Thanks for participating and I'll see you on the next session.